Hey guys, Steph here, and I've got Joanne with me. Joanne and I met very special, unique circumstances. Um, I don't usually go to events, but for some reason I decided to go to a masquerade ball. And at this event, a very kind gentleman, he bought all the ladies at the table a uh, chance to win a prize. So all the ladies go up and we're picking our prizes and the girls are getting guest certificates for the liquor store and the pub. And I got the yoga one, obviously. So I picked the yoga prize and I got to, um, it was the next night. I really thought it would be cool to go to a restorative class. So I thought, well, I have a free class. I'm going to check the schedule. And there's a restorative class on the schedule. Now, most people don't like restorative yoga because it's the type where you kind of have to stay in the pose and it's a little bit more work. You're kind of meditating through through poses. And it's something that I, if I teach yoga, it's the only um, type that I like to teach as well as the type I go to. So awesome. It's on the schedule. I'm going to go. And who's teaching is Joanne. So this is how Joanne and I met. Perfect circumstances that I maybe wouldn't have otherwise gone to that class if I didn't go to the event. And fast forward, Joanne and I have been working closely together. We're doing a Vipassana retreat together and we're actually going to Hawaii. So do, listen to your gut. Go to things that maybe you think aren't right, but if your gut says go, do them. Um, so that's how Joanne and I met. And Joanne and I, Joanne's been cruising through my 90 day program. We've condensed it into more like 50 days or less because Joanne's going to Hawaii. So we, we wanted to cruise through her launch and set her up so that before she goes to Hawaii, we've done some awesome stuff with her business, which was mainly grow online because Joanne came with all this passion, all this knowledge. And really all we had to do was a little bit of tweaking and pressing that live button and setting up mind body solutions, which is exactly um, what Joanne does is she helps people connect the mind and the body. So what we're doing today on this live is just sharing the experiences through the coaching together, as well as the next events and workshops for Joanne's specialty, which is the fascial release and connecting the mind and body. So Joanne, take it away with your, what you do, how you specialize and help people, as well as your up and coming workshop, which I've put it in the description. The next one's on the 11th. Um, but give us a little bit more in depth of how you've narrowed down your offerings and who you help your niche. We'll say My niche. <laughs> Hi, Steph. this is so cool. I, uh, I haven't, this is the first time I've done live video and thanks to Steph's coaching. She's, uh, helping me through this really new world of social media and social media marketing. Yeah, it is remarkable Steph, how the universe lines things up when we get out of our head and into your body. Body. And I love the way you said it. I followed my gut. I followed a, an instinct feeling in my physical body that that would be good for me. So, wow, that's really powerful stuff. And then you never know what you're going to run into. Yeah. So, um, so a little, just a little bit about what I do. Um, I was an army officer for a long time and got injured, had major surgery, and uh, have, was diagnosed with like a, you know, incurable rare disease. <laughs> um, but all that took me on a journey, and I found a lot of healing through yoga and through meditation. And for a long time, I was teaching them separately. But I was really intrigued about how they work together and understanding uh, this amazing mind-body network. Became fascinated with fascia. And so 2018 is the year where I, I can't teach things separately anymore. We live in a body and mind that are beautifully, intimately connected. So I teach people in particular if they're in challenges, physical pain uh, in their bodies or disease of some sort, um, how to work the body release um, through uh, really rolling on balls, self-massage, followed by resistance stretching. But then more importantly, I help people start connecting what's going on in their mind, mental processes, and emotions, uh, those restrictive places of thought that result in restrictive places in your body. I just find in my experience in dealing with people, um, it's so much more effective to work from both ends. <laughs> yeah. So it makes a lot of sense to me but it's something new and uh, so for a number of years um, I've been kind of uh, envisioning it and working it out but getting much much more clear and I'm so excited to share this stuff so we're doing um, 
uh, four workshops. The first one's an introduction to Body Mind Solutions, and that will be a little mostly uh, talking and, and showing people what it is all about, offering you some uh, little uh, fascial releases that you can do, and then like ideas about how to start identifying what thoughts and emotions connect to the body. The next three I'm really excited about because we're going to work through the body from the waist on down. So if you have any issues with plantar's fascia, this knee pain, hip pain, um, sciatica restrictions, or uh, you know pain in that part of your body. We're going to do special releases for that, and then talk about what are the unique uh, little thoughts and emotions that result in constrictions in the lower body. Then the next one, we're going to work the upper body. If you have problems in shoulders, um, uh, wrists, uh, carpal tunnel, neck pain. Um, well, the, the next workshop will be kind of here on up, and we'll look at some special releases that you can do uh, uh, for those issues, followed by uh, what thoughts and emotions that you can transfer there. It's the second workshop. And the third one is called uh, Deep Body. So the core of your body really deep. In your in your physical body that often manifests in um, chronic diseases and so I'll be showing you some uh, gentle fascia release for chronic um, illnesses um, so whether you have a physical sensation or pain that you're working with I look at it as an opportunity to kind of uncover things um, in your body and mind that have been holding you back um, but also if you're a teacher if you're a yoga teacher or maybe you're working with a part of your body and you just have not no matter what you do haven't had any uh, success in addressing the challenge so you have to know there's something more going on here and the something more is the mind so mm -hmm. I just love that they're all going to be held on the, at the Bedford Farmers Market in um, a place where I meet Steph for her weekly uh, meeting groups with some amazing young entrepreneurs there's a beautiful studio there with windows overlooking the water facing south and uh, yeah so if you or anyone you know has any of those issues you can find me through Steph's page or Meditation Matters um, or uh, Mind Body Solutions just has to join. So, yeah, that's the long and short of it. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks, and that's, that's so deep to my heart because I do yoga every day. I'm at hot yoga every day, but I'm still constricted. And I used to blame it on driving. I was a food rep. So I thought, Oh, it's just cause I drive for a living. Well, now I don't drive for a living. I do what I want. I'm exercising. I'm moving all day, but I still have these constrictions. And I come from the knowledge of Vipassana, which is, you know, connecting the mind and body. And I have a bit of knowledge in that, but it's so, it's so clear to me now that it really is important um, to get to these, Joanne uses the word niggly things because if we're so busy, maybe we're not noticing them. But if you slow down like I do, and I'm going to restorative yoga, I'm noticing these things. And what's really able to get um, fascial release is not just stretching, going to yoga. I'm living proof. I did my yoga training. I've been doing yoga every day, and I still have these constrictions. And it's not about being fully open. And, you know, it's not about that perfect yoga pose. For me, it's more, you know, it's that, those chronic headaches that I know are because of that. or these pains that are deep rooted that I'm really interested in letting go of. So for deeper reasons. So just like Vipassana would help me, that's, you know, going away, doing a 10 day meditation. How cool is it that we can do this in everyday life? So Joanne's actually given me a couple of her tools, her, they're called yoga therapy balls and I've been practicing. And if you're familiar with um, foam rolling, it would be a similar technique you're really rolling out the fascial line so that's what we're doing at these workshops and the first one's actually next Thursday evening um, the link is actually in the bio so you can check it out and I'll be at that event as well um, so that's why Joanne originally she had all these amazing ideas but it was just about putting them into action and um, really just letting people know because that's often what comes to us where these beautiful creators, these entrepreneurs, we have all these ideas, but what's next or we get stuck. So there's a four step process that I walk coaches through. And I often see Joanne was at the third step. She was, she already was super clear on what she wanted. She knew 
what she wanted, but it was just that final step and putting it into action and asking exactly, just kind of wrapping it all together and putting a bow on it. So um, that's what Joanne did. She came to me like ready and raring to go and we just kind of fast tracked it and it's happening. And um, right. Well, I'm going to jump in there. Yeah, go ahead. There's a little more magic to uh, what you do. There's no question that, uh, Steph, you're a ninja, I call you, when it comes to social media, the way she navigates around it. And the thing I love about Steph is that she's learned through her own experience, uh, like what I do with my body. I've dealt with injury, illness, disease, and Steph has grown her nourish business online, and she knows what works, and she knows how to work it. So I love that. Um, but the other thing I wanted to point out in terms of what you do, uh, Stephanie, with people, and the, no question, I even though I recognize, even though we recognize limiting beliefs, oftentimes it's we still need people to help believe in us. Yeah. Right? We all need that. We need each other. And despite my passion for it, there was still some mental programs that I was running that um, I can't ask for money for this work. It's healing. People are getting healed. Like, why should I get money? And um, so these limiting beliefs, and I think the only thing that ever holds any of us back is limiting beliefs. And one thing that uh, I don't think um, maybe Stephanie realizes or appreciate uh, uh, about her program as much is how she helps people identify those, and she really believes in uh, the people that she's working with and promoting. She sees the benefit in and passion in the work that they're doing, and. And um, so she's kind of shining a light on your greatness and your possibility. And when she does that, it's hard for me not to believe it. Mm. So there, there's a lot going on at a lot deeper levels. Yes, she's a master at making a simplified process for you. But if you are an entrepreneur and you do have something that you're passionate about, it's just like we started the interview. There is a gut calling you. Mm. There's your body calling you, your heart calling you to do something. And when you take a step through the fear to those programs that aren't true, you take a step in that, then the universe conspires to help you. And I think uh, Stephanie is um, magic, like she shining the light on your greatness. And I really believe we get great by making each other great, and that's mm. what she's doing. And so I, I very much admire her. And I also want to say, you know, I, I didn't come with everything packaged. I had limiting beliefs that when we work with each other, we can help identify and help each other overcome it, which is just wonderful. Thanks, Steph. Thank you. <laughs> and it really is. It's. Um, I've been asking kind of the coaches that I'm working with that exact thing. How did it feel when you either broke through a limiting belief or sold out of your program, right? Because we're, you know, I'm, I'm at the process now where I just had one coach completely sell out of her program. And before we sold out, I said, I said, imagine that, imagine that feeling. You can wipe your hands clean before the holidays. You've sold out of your programs. You're all set to go for the new year. So as much as, yeah, I systemize things and, you know, make it super simple. Absolutely. It's about that transformation and about that confidence and all through every person I've worked with and gotten the feedback, it's that confidence piece, right? It's that somebody telling you, yes, this is going to work and, and you can do it. And I can yeah. relate to that when I hire coaches. I know yeah. it's, I, I often know the little pieces, but it's about that helping you, lifting you higher and yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Couldn't like and I love doing that. You know, the biggest gratification I get about working with people when they start recognizing how their um, their beliefs and the niggly thing I talk about your little annoyances and frustrations during the day are opportunities to start uncovering those. And I get such gratification when people say, "Oh, my neck pain went away. My hand doesn't work. It hurt anymore." Or you know, my headache's gone away. I just love that feeling that I, I didn't do it for them. They didn't, the drug didn't do it for them. They did it themselves yeah. by identifying, um, you know, the, these programs that live in your mind and body and realizing that they are the programmer. Yeah. <laughs> they get to reprogram and they have the ability to do that. And that's so much fun. And it's really, it's at a level of empowerment. And I can relate to that with 
Um, I used to do a lot of, oh, I'll just do it for you because I knew how to do this computer stuff. But now I'm like, no, I'm going to empower the business owner to do it themselves. And then that feeling when I see them every time you go live or every time, you know, I get that message, oh, I sold another program or my webinar worked. It's that <laughs> feeling of, okay, I've empowered this person to live a better life rather than my old programming, which would be, oh, I'll just do it for you. No problem. I'll just do it. And it's, it's yeah. definitely not satisfying just doing work for people. It's a whole new level of gratification. Yeah. yeah. And doing work for people can leave you feeling exhausted and yeah. you're, you know, pushing yourself out there trying to do what you think's right for them when in the end they know what's right for them. Yeah. <laughs> funny. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's just our natural tendency to want to fix things for people. So you and I have had this conversation. Nobody's broken, especially in the world that you're in with like physical therapy, basically, and helping people. Nobody's broken. And it's not about fixing or getting to that yoga pose. It's just about feeling good in your body in the moment and working with what you got. Yeah, and enjoying the process, you yeah. know? Why, why delay your ha-ha till you get the result? Why have a little ha-ha along the way? <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah, and it really is. I think that it's not by no fluke that we met. It, it it makes sense. Like you, and this is something that I often you you attract the people that you're like right now, not the people that you kind of wish you were like. So um, yes, you can surround yourself by podcasters or people mentors that maybe you want to grow to be like. But in a physical sense of who's coming into your life, it's the same vibration of where you're at. So. Um, super cool. And I'll tell you guys too, right before I had met Joanne, I, I do Vipassana med meditations. And for me a little bit is it's the hardest part is getting there. Cause the closest one would be Montreal. Um, I often go to the one in BC. So I just said to a few people, I said, I'm ready for another Vipassana. I would like the, the transport there to be easy. And then Joanne came and she said, well, I'm going to do a Vipassana. Would you, I'll drive. Would you like to come with me? So little things like that is just kind of declaring and I'm a big fan of just creating a life that you love, but then working back and kind of creating the steps to get there. But just simple things like that were popping up with Joanne and I and the surf. Yeah, oh, the story gets better yeah. when I was, I'm going to a yoga sabbatical in Hawaii to refine more of the work. And I thought to myself, oh, I'd really love to stay for a week and just explore Hawaii. But for me, my best vacations when I do something. I said, what would I do in Hawaii? And I said, oh, I'll, I'll surf. So I went online looking at surf programs. They were fairly expensive. And when Stephanie mentioned she was interested in going to Hawaii, I said, great. I was thinking of hanging out for a week and learning to surf. She said, I'm a surf instructor. I'll teach you how to surf. <laughs> So it's, you know, wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, um, when you start, uh, you know, trusting and just putting things out there that really heartfelt you feel like you'd love to do, um, it's so much fun. Like every step of the journey is fun to see what is going to be delivered to you when you sort of open your awareness to, to trusting that if you have a desire to do it and it's important to you, it's important to the universe and because mm -hmm. you're part of it and and it's kind of fun and just even the idea of thoughts coming in or you know uh, when you're in a good feeling place getting a thought or an inspiration and moving with it, it it's just magic to to watch so much fun yeah <laughs> and our meetups as well I I did mention I um, was a little bit nervous and hesitant about meeting up in person with people because for years as a health coach I kind of burnt myself out by meeting up and giving too much so for a few years I held back and no more meetings in person Joanne was my first in-person meeting and that actually inspired me because it gave me that positive reinforcement that this is okay stuff you, you can open up to this again um, to start the meetups and the connections that have happened there have been incredible and the people so we've been doing it for about eight or not nine weeks now um, so it's a group of us in Halifax, just business owners meeting up, supporting each other. And it really is that support and community and connection is the theme. And that's exactly what's been unfolding. So um, if you're in Halifax, you can join us. What are you going to say? Oh, yeah. I just, you know what I love about going to the weekly meetings when I can make it. And it's 11 a.m. Uh, we're still doing Thursdays, yeah. right? Stuff. Bedford Farmers Market, really big, beautiful space. So we have big tables we can stretch out. And the thing I love is that 
um, everyone there does have a business that they're passionate about, but we don't really come with an agenda. And sort of discussions start happening, and we identify kind of connections or interests with each other's work. And um, it is interesting to me how many of the people coming uh, have a similar theme or a desire to help people get healthier, wealthier, or happier. You know, we all have this kind of the roots of what we're doing, even though the expression is all different is really lovely and uh, so it's a lot of fun and um, if you're gonna go have a coffee you might as well go meet some interesting people <laughs> while you're at it <laughs> yeah and it's cool the way that things work out is often um, if you have if you're offering something like we're never worried about interfere or um, competition because everything there's a perfect client for the perfect coach or the perfect practitioner so we're never worried about competition it's all just about lifting each other higher and even if there's people offering similar things to me I'm not afraid of that competition because the right person will find the right um, coach or practitioner and that's truly what it's all about and there really is no competition and and it's all just lifting each other higher yeah, I, I really love, uh, you said that very early on when I met you, and it was about, uh, you know, attracting the right client. And I think everyone wants that. They want it to be mutual beneficial for mm -hmm. everyone and you said that a few times I was like yes yes that's what I want I want the right client someone who's ready to recognize his work someone who's interested and um, so that both of us gain from it you know I don't want to you know put a mass media campaign out there and attract people to spend money for no reason that's yeah. not you know what I'm what I'm interested in so I do really really love that and you could not be more right that whatever someone's offering even if you're a, you know a, a health coach or a dietitian well your life experience and what you're offering even though it may look similar is always totally unique yeah uh, so you you are going to attract the people that are there that resonate with your message and I, I love that I love that that is the heart of your work mm -hmm. uh, you know getting the right clients and and I think social media is an amazing way to do that because you're sharing you and your story people can hear and see you and they know whether you're gonna be right for them or not and uh, yeah. I really love that so thanks for that step you're welcome <laughs> um, yeah so that is what's happening in Halifax today we did an online meetup so I think I'm gonna do more of those so if you're not in Halifax um, you can head to the event page as well weekly meetups, um, I'll link it all up here, but we're gonna do some online stuff, and then if the fascial release is interesting, um, you've got kind of niggly pains, I love that word, um, that <laughs> link is up in the description as well, as well as um, Joanne's business page. So today's call was really just about showcasing Joanne's amazingness, as well as sharing our relationship and maybe um, the opportunity of what Joanne's going through, you might resonate, I did a video yesterday on um, just kind of sharing client stories. So I shared Joanne's and then two other clients um, And that's kind of the best way to see if coaching is a good fit. My 90-day growth plan is a good fit is um, Hearing other people's stories and identifying if it's good for you or not because I'm all about working with people who it's a perfect fit um, And I'm happy to say Everyone so far who's come into the door has been a perfect fit and I think it's because of the messaging that I'm putting out there and that's uh, specificity of exactly who I am to help which is the uh, business owners health coaches that are ready to grow online and ready to really explode in your business take it full-time and narrow down and speak to your ideal client no more returns no more customers being dissatisfied it's really connecting with that ideal client through social media if you're willing to use video you uh, we can do that if not I didn't use video at one point only two years ago actually I told my business coach I didn't want to use video so don't let that intimidate you it's definitely it's great video is a way of the future but it's not there's other ways to connect so don't be shy there and if you want to come into our free group to do our free go live for five challenge a group is work smarter not harder Joanne and I are um, both in there so come on down and Anything else from you, Joanne?
I just want to thank Steph. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we will be away in uh, Hawaii, but I really look forward to, uh, you know, doing a little work with Steph in Hawaii and posting some videos there because, you know, nothing's ever static and work is always evolving as we are always evolving. Uh, so really excited to share some of the insights when we, when we get to Hawaii, that's going to be very cool. Yeah. 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 Amazing. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Joanne. I'm going to hey, bye, 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 and I'll see you in the group, and um, we'll do this again, and I'll see you soon. Huh? See you soon. Okay. Bye.